Hi, I'm Derek Blasberg. <laughs> we are here on the Avenue Montaigne for the LVMH Prize finalist. We in, are in the showroom. We're in the showroom. Yeah. Are you correcting my grammar? No, I'm just. Hello, <laughs> this is Derek Glassberg. And this is Gigi Hadid. We are here in Paris's famous Avenue Montaigne in the LVMH Prize shortlisted designers semi finalist showroom. You know what we're doing today? What, Derek? We are introducing everyone to all of this incredible new fashion talent. If you're a young designer, the LVMH Prize is pretty much like the holy grail of fashion prizes. It's where you want to be, it's what you want to win. You meet all the people that you really need to meet in fashion to make it. Like Gigi Hadid. Like Derek Blasberg. <laughs> Gigi, I know this is your first year as a fashion expert on the LVMH Fashion Prize. It is, I'm feeling very honored. What are you sort of looking for when you're looking to discover new talent. I guess what I'm looking for is their own message or their own kind of image that I haven't seen before, but also something that I see a lot of people wanting and wearing and um, embracing. And I'm really excited to see everyone today. I'm super excited to be here today to have a first look at some of the new faces in fashion. Hi guys. Hi. How are you? My name is Archie, by the way. Alex Martinez. Archie. And I'm the head of Alex Martinez. The entire wardrobe, it's all knitted. Sort of um, challenging the preconceived ideas that people have on a knitwear piece. One of the other things was the, the, the jacket, you know, the tailoring piece. It's, it's all fully fashion, which means that it comes out of the machine on the shape of the pattern, so you don't have to cut and sew it, which means wow. zero waste. It's quite flattering on both men and women. Red suit, for instance, you know. Did you love that? That's my thing, is like when you can put on something that feels effortless but makes it look like you still put in the effort. It also travels very well. Gigi yeah. spends half her life on an airplane. Well, Gigi, is... we have to talk. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of wearing menswear. So am I. So like, I'm really into this. It's oh, amazing, it's so beautiful. This is like my signature denim jacket, the shape. It's the same as this shape. It's all made from uh, repurposed Levi's. So it means that like every pair will be slightly unique. So if you get one, it will always be baby blue, but the details oh, you I get will be beautiful. Yeah. And then so and if you look on the back, so you get all that. these details that are like, and it also means that every time someone buys one, it's, it's actually one unique, it's one of a kind. I'd rather have something that is like no one else technically has my jacket. I really want to try and make people keep things forever. Like, I want people to go buy a piece and really invest in it. Yeah. So. We really kind of like love each other's work, especially the fabric and the textile manipulation. So that is kind of in essence what we really specialize in. Here's an incredible piece that was just in our show that's, um, that's inspired great. by large hearts and soft architecture. But then next to that we also have this beautiful dress which retails under a thousand and is much more accessible. So it's really important for us to have both components yeah. in our exactly. collection. Are those earrings? Yes, yeah. these are earrings. Yeah. I love a funky yeah. earring, this is so fun. I'm obsessed with this. I think that like you can just put this with like a jeans and t-shirt exactly. and it makes it so much more fun. When you wake up feeling a little shabby for shows, you just put this on and you're just a new girl. You don't have a bad day if you have this on your head. No bad hair days. Yes. <laughs> How are you, Toma? Uh, I'm good. Nervous? Nervous? Don't be nervous. Uh, okay. You know like, us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yes. thought, I thought we were friends, Toma. Yeah. Like, <laughs> You're from Tokyo, and when did you start your brand? Eight years ago. Oh, great. Yeah. But actually, it was as a costume designer. Oh, what the, kind of, for who? Like pop singers in Tokyo. That's why I made this kind of yeah, like, pop. But... <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's do it, Toma. Oh, let's yeah, do yeah, it. Please. We're doing it. Have you worn Toma before? I have not worn Tomo, but um, I am a big fan. Will you give me some tips on how to look this chic? This is like for any really celebratory event. Um, oh, excuse you me. Can wear this, Sorry. You can wear this to be a judge of other things. Could I judge the LVMH fashion prize? Yes, you this could, ensemble? but you didn't today, so you're going to judge other things in it in the future when I become your stylist. Yes! Oh my god, the, the V most glam. 
and and I know that you you work with fabrics or ribbon that you've that were already used or they're so they become something new and beautiful and different, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I use a lot of like dead stock or like leftover fabric for sustainability and yes. also good for my wallet. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Carly, what do you think? I, you won. <laughs> You're the winner. Is um. You should black on black. Next right. designer, next party. model. Wait, I oh, know yeah, your work. Yeah, yes. we, we oh my gosh, in, in New York. York. Yeah, yeah, like invading your. I'll come with this, like KK. I'm trying to cover myself up a little. <laughs> Just here to make Derek look skinny. That is <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, I need. Hold on. I don't know if it. I think this is a YouTube off. I think there's a YouTube off happening. Hey. Just threw this on. My name is Cindy So. Nice to meet I'm you, Cindy. I'm from South Santisa. Africa. Collections based on this lady. Her name is Sarah Forbes Panetta. She was a West African princess who was put into slavery as a child at age five. Long story short, she becomes Queen Victoria's godchild. So the story wow. ends well. She wow, that gave me chills. That's incredible. Yeah, so, she should be so in history books. She should be in, she, she needs a movie. She needs yeah. a movie. So she's, well, got, she a, she's got, got a collection. <laughs> I love your prints. Where do Thank they you. come from or how so, do you? You know the French have those toiles, those kind of beautiful toile yes. wallpapers. So it's like a African version of that. So like My mom's African. Dutch and this reminds me of like the Dutch blue and white. Yes, yeah, I that's love exactly it. where I was going. <gasps> <laughs> Oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. That's so beautiful. That's amazing. Nice to meet you. I really appreciate it. Hi guys, hold on, I'm getting my notebook. I love your look. We you. love your look. We love the prints. Thank you, thank you. I think I've Once worn, twice, yeah. yeah. I think in uh, vacation. I'm a fan. I started the brand in uh, Paris, uh, Four Seasons Ago. Okay. So I'm surprised that it's gone so far already. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a yeah. good surprise. It's a good surprise. It's fun. It's capturing. Gigi's already feeling the vibe. I am. Yeah, she's been feeling the vibe. <laughs> I've, been, I've been feeling the vibe since the summer. She's down already. <laughs> I wanted to create something that is like not in the market. I wanted those clothes, but i never seen them anywhere. Derek. I mean, this would... Even I could do this. We could do this matching. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. I love. It's like, they're like the old Olympics posters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I need, poster. I need so much of it. It has like a whimsicalness to it that I love. It's, it's like, it gives me energy to look at. I'm Bulgarian American. I grew up in New Jersey. Okay. Uh, Laura is British. We started our company in 2018 uh, when we graduated from the MA at St. Martin's. Our brand is, is based around recycling folkloric fabrics so they're all like Bulgarian aprons tapestries that we upcycle we also have the dresses which are like dead stock taffeta um, so we buy from like all kinds of like factories that have like waste from Italy it's like slightly damaged or it's too little uh, in quantity so we kind of use all that kind of stuff uh, we're working with a um, uh, Turkish um, company where they they draw in ink and then they print it onto and the they, they it's put like it marble. into the yeah I've seen other th yeah this is floating on water yeah and then you dip and then you and then dip you it and you pull it out. it out and it sits right on the fabric yeah that's it look she should come you be your like intern our she can be your textile <laughs> intern <laughs> do you guys see that yeah we are a French brand and we come we live in Brussels and we work in Brussels also in Paris. Actually. Are you from Brussels? Yeah, I am from but Brussels. Are, and me from France. Okay. So okay. got it. Yeah. We are a brand uh, all, all inclusive. inclusive. Okay, cool. So it's uh, just I mean, one size fits all. all. And we cover size 34 till size 50. So I think for US it's size zero till size 16. I love a piece that I want to get tailored. Like if I get pants that then I can like yeah, you That's can my play. favorite. You it's, can play. For example, so, in this one, you can remove like the that. pockets. And, it's and free, there is a lot of yeah. fabrics. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I um, love that. And so we try to find solution on every basis. You make I mean, clothes for every for women. Yeah, everyone. just for everybody, so you, yes. you know? That's it. That's cool. What year was the company started? One year ago. One year ago. Oh, oh, so your brand new. Okay. We made fake magazine. They were famous. But also daily scandal, it's over. But also profit, you know, for powerful women. I love these. I know I can. She's over. <laughs> Who is she? We're good. So 
two of us are Vietnamese. Uh, Jin is Korean. We all met in New York, so the brand is based in, in New York. The story is of Asia. We look in, at a lot of uh, how our moms dress in the 80s and 90s. I'm to make sure the brand has a sense of nostalgia, but not retro. A clothes, something that you can cherish and wear every single day. So soft. This is beautiful. I love this double belted pant. Gigi would wear those. Yeah, I would definitely wear those. This yes. one? That's Allow me. My mom oh, I wearing love a that. fanny pack on a motorcycle. Ah. She. So that's you said you were from me. Vietnam? Yeah. yeah. It's a motorcycle every day. They love motor. Yeah. yeah. I would be like holding on to this. <laughs> You'd be holding that's on to your mom. Awesome. <laughs> Good Thank luck you and so congratulations. Much. Really appreciate it. Your moms must be so proud. Don't let her, don't tell Yolanda Hadid that you're doing this because then she'll, Gigi sure will have to start. you old pictures yeah. <laughs> from the 90s. This is my second season. Um, it's been, it's been going like quiet. It's good. It's about, it's actually red carpet dressing for men. I was told and, you have a lot of clients in India. Is that true? Uh, have you designed? It's, this happened in the past one and a half months. I just have, <laughs> I have, I have, I have a press book here. Wow. With the whole story. It's just been crazy. So we had our first one week after oh. a lot at Alta Did Mace. you do Alta Mace? Yeah, yeah, I did Alta Mace. The yeah. And I read earlier that there's something to do with heat technology with yes, your shoulder yes, pads. Yes, yes, Can you yes. tell me about yeah, that? Yeah, of course. So this is a new heat reactant felt. This is like a new recipe to create shape. Yeah, so it's to change what tailoring does. You could actually take them off the mold and become absolute tailored garments. It snaps back in without any change to anything and it fits in perfectly there. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Your corner is so bright and beautiful. Yeah, I, I studied at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts, so I have a background in painting and sculpture. And then I was a tailor education before, so I try like to merge in between these yeah. two fields. And the brand is about my dreams, so I created it as a space where it's allowed for the abstract thoughts and illusions to come alive. Like, and it's you, not and so you create perfect. these prints? Yeah. Beautiful. I painted with oil painting and then it's all hand stitches follow the lines of the prints. I love it. And inside the little bee is a sign that the flowers, because the bee is giving the love for the flowers and the flowers is giving a more colorful world and I love flowers and the climate crisis right yes, now. Yes, bees are very important. Exactly. Well, yes. And then we spread seeds all over Copenhagen. We gave them to Copenhagen Fashion Week for everyone to plant a flower. Oh, so great. it's a little sign to just take care of what you love, no matter if it's a plant or a human, but just like to take care of. That's, That's such a great message. I really yeah. love this coat. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Put a smile on our face. Yeah, thanks for having me. Peter, you don't want to show your face that ever or just with us? Like ever. Ever. Yeah, okay, yeah. so th that's kind of like mystical and like... Yeah. Very Margellian. Yeah. But, but now I've know, seen your face, yeah, so I'll we know. know the real Peter Doe. I got yeah, you, G Peter. You your secret is safe with us. Yeah. Gigi and I know a lot of secrets and we promise to keep yeah. you a secret yes. too. I was born in Vietnam, but I moved to Philadelphia when I was 14 with my family. I moved to Paris and London and then me and for my friends who we met on the internet, start a brand what together. What do you mean you met on the internet? On Match.com? Tumblr, you know, like Facebook, Tumblr. yeah. What collection is this for you? There's a little bit of spring, summer, and then that's fall, winter. So we have this fabric here that we developed. It's called Technical uh, Organza. So then you can see all the work that go into making a jacket. I Could love we... this too. Thank you so much. Thank Good luck so and much congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Argentina. We are the first uh, South American designers in the place. Ah, yeah. fantastic. Uh, my brand is vegan. It's, leather. it's vegan. Yes, vegan. So we don't use leather. Or animal skin yeah. or anything that comes from animals itself. Aha, fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. And we also work with be as sustainable as we can. Like you have this more complex piece and then you have this piece which is really simple but it's really well cut and, and nicely That's done. Great. Yeah. I heard you make clothes with kombucha. What is that? How, how does that go down? Kombucha turns the kombucha into... is a mushroom. Okay. Like it's a, like a leather vegan. Got it. They call it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, mushrooms are having a moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just saw Goop Lab. Everyone's eating them. Yes. They're putting them in leather. Yes. Now he's in the clothes. And in the clothes. <laughs> A designer based in London, so I studied at St. Martin's, uh, graduated in 2013, and I've just been building my my brand since then. Really, like uh, I was really lucky that uh, Beams Japan they bought my first collection, and then slowly been building. So that's been able me to to do my shows, which I guess more like music music gig slash shows. So this is what I did for Spring 20. So Sun, so Sons of Kemet, they're like a UK jazz group. So I, I, I styled them for the show. So for me, this is my community and the mood board behind you. This is all my collage of past collections. The mood board, gotcha. So, and this is my parents here back in the oh, 70s. Love. Awesome. So they, they used to run a reggae club together. Oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. So obviously music's like in my it's DNA. It's in your blood. Um, and then this t-shirt was what my dad made and then I made a reproduction of it, the reggae club. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so with Bob Marley's Uprising album cover. So, but now That's my great. dad wants royalties. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. He's like, you don't get that for nothing. Exactly, exactly. We did one of my iconic oh, uh, Baker Boys, Sick. but then we did it in the track pan. I love that one. Yeah, this one's got all the little but, tassel. Yeah. Um, yeah, so even trying to uh, diversify my my brand range. So culture, heritage, craftsmanship, and then this book obviously shows the community, which I'm... Um, what I believe in, and I guess exploring Britishness. What do you like? I like I like the coats. Oh, I love it. So, this so is these like, were bed sheets. This is duvet yeah. from the seventies. A duvet yeah. from the seventies. Yeah, Great. Yeah. So imagine the seventies. Everything was like this. everything looked like this. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's fun. I want to like wear it everywhere. It's You're awesome. very welcome to do that. <laughs> it's beautiful. I would wear it to a lot of places, including the airport, my, the farm, to work. I mean, it's just like anything that's this warm and cozy and... Sometimes I, I, I feel like it. an airport is a rave. So but also... It's, it's, what's a rave to you? What's, a, what's my rave? Yes. Farm life. <laughs> <laughs> this is also like so chic. The, the, the shape of it is so beautiful and the colors and... It's tailored so well for, for a fabric like this. Like, it's just beautiful. It's very familiar fabrics, but in contemporary silhouettes. Yeah. If you had to sort of describe your aesthetic to someone yes. who has not seen your clothes before, how would you describe it? I would say it's clean, um, colorful, feminine, and sexy. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Gigi's song. I love. What I'm trying to do is reinterpret Indian codes of, of dress, basically, in a really modern way. So I love contrasting kind of sheer fabrics and textures and prints with like more subversive fabrics like rubberized cottons and tailoring. Awesome. And keeping like sharp cuts with more like fluid feminine kind of silhouettes to balance it all out. I love the colors. Me too. They're really happy. <laughs> yes. Understand it, and that's what I'm like so obsessed. My my focus is on biotechnology and apply that into into fashion. So I'm looking at ways to grow garments out of living organisms, out of lichens, for example, because they're really good in absorbing pollution. And growing garments out of them to to purify the air around wow. the water, for example. You would get this net, and then they're given something to plant on you it like to this. grow. You will, for example, you will have your uh, your spores. You will have your nutrients. You will prepare a solution bath you will dip your garment on it and then you have to <laughs> look after it you have to grow your own garment oh my merch, gosh. Uh, merch. a lot of buildings now that are being done even in this kind of yes, technology yes. some mushroom to make bricks for example <laughs> mushrooms we've heard mushrooms a lot mushrooms a trend and i have a question like once yes. if i were to get these pants is it easy to keep in your own closet? Yes. Well, right now they're prototypes, right, of so it's still like a research and development. But we're probably going to need to think about our wardrobes. How are right. they going to be the wardrobes of the future? And perhaps having a future where, where fashion uh, won't be the, the issue to be solved, but rather the key, the solution mm -hmm. to solve an issue. Fashion will save the world. Yeah.
How would you describe your sort of design ethos? One way is it's the mix of both of our cultures. So it, it, it is all about creating a new language across these two borders. Yeah. So we have the uh, Mandarin collar and the Chinese frogging buttons, but made in rubber. But we have a cut that is more similar to a um, traditional so it's Western tailor. It's quite elegant when you put on, yeah. So they both fitted, but also tailored. Yeah. And it has kept the kind of oriental Nissan touch of that. And that's something we found interesting about, yeah. So to be able to tr translate this, our brand also to a wider audience, we need a bit of support, the financial yeah. and also mental wise, mm -hmm. to know how to take our, at the moment, quite small brand to the next level. It was really nice to meet you guys. Thank you for your time. She's done her homework. You guys made everything you're wearing? Yes. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank I haven't you. even looked at the rack yet, but like this is already <laughs> taking me lots Thank of places. You. Where are you guys based? Iran. Iran, okay. Iran. Yes. yes. Yeah. And all three of you guys met there? Well, I'm family Cousin, cousins, with them, sisters. but... Wow. When did you guys start the company? Six years ago. We started. Well, I studied business, she studied visual arts. Then we, we were very passionate about it. What have you guys learned in the past four years? Um, we learned so much since we were here. We took it more serious and we wanted to do it more globally. We used to make just dresses that can be worn outside of home, but then we wanted to have more wider customer base. This looks incredible. What are we looking at here? Um, this collection was um, driven from circus. We used to go to um, circus with my mom and we were ch children. And so this has two colors, like reminds us of people who have two heads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. How would you define your collection? I think um, it's about how to empower women um, across East and Western culture. That's on my back now. Because for me, like, um, no matter where you're from, actually all the women will share the same emotion and feelings. Yes. And this kind of soft inner, actually, we don't know. We don't like, we know sometimes. But um, for me, like, how women's being powerful doesn't mean you have to dress like a masculine world, just like a man. But, for me, what most what, important is just be yourself, enjoy the softness, can still be a power. Yes. Like how I present the collection. Thing. Last question for you. There's a huge cash prize for the LVMH Fashion Prize winner. What would you do with $300,000? Um, for me, just, uh, just build my uh, business probably continue. Cause Reinvest. Now, yeah, because now, because um, I just finished my job, um, I moved to London last month, and everything just need time to sit down. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I think it will help me a lot if I got something. Amazing. Well, congratulations Thank and good so luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. So nice we appreciate you. it. You, you too. You. So what did you think about the prize? I just love that they all have a different essence, almost as if like in each corner you were taken to a different world with that person. What I think I was incredible it. to see is that there are so many young designers who are focused on sustainability. For sure. I think almost everyone had their own way of bringing sustainability into the and collection. And responding to climate change, environmentalism. New ideas like just how beautiful they can make clothes with fabrics that have already been used or that people would see as not valuable anymore. I love that. I think that our young designers in the next generation who want to work with in the future, we have to know that they're coming from this angle. Exactly. Fashion's gonna save the planet. We're hey. on to the next round of fashion. My dad's Palestinian, my mom's Dutch, and I've always had that feeling of, you know, wanting to be the bridge, and I feel like you know, not only are the, is that happening within certain brands, but also just to be in a room all together and be able to talk amongst each other and learn about how they're doing that is really exciting. Buzzwords, multiculturalism, sustainability, supply chain. The future. If you want to be in the LVMH Fashion Prize 2021 or 22 or 23 or 24, 25, these are the things you need to think about. Yes. All right, guys, we got to run to other fashion week our, our real jobs. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. We loved being here so much. Last question, Gigi, who are you gonna vote for? Um, okay, one, do you actually want me to tell you? Well, question, comments, who do you think should win? Write it in the comments below.
Subscribe, ring the bell. I watch Derek's stuff. Wow. I, I study. You know how to ring the bell. I know. Thanks for watching. Bye. To be fair, I'm here to meet the designers. Gigi's shopping. She's yeah. like looking for Straight what to wear next <laughs>